session is about atp okay and uh, yes. of course it's a question answer session so just let me know what your main issues are yeah so it's my your first question was that uh, in electrolysis of hcl why is chloride discharge right yes sir. yeah so tell me uh, the rule for preferential discharge sir when it's dilute it goes down the reactivity series and what when it's concentrated then so then it's reversed why is it reversed <laughs> why would it be reversed sir hame yahi padhaya gaya hai ki it gets reversed okay okay fair enough agar aapko ye pata to so basically how do you say the reactivity series for anions tell me what's the reactivity say first cell uh, first we have sulfates per nitrates per then we go down the hal like halide series uske baad end mein we have hydroxide yes okay sir. so let's just switch that let's just make it this how about now this should why resolve is... all your problems sir so, why did we do this like why did why is it switch uh, because all of this is based on what we call the electrode potential that is something we study in a levels and in o levels we just simplify things based on their values so we are basically saying that uh, sulfate is the easiest uh, to make ion off which means it's the most difficult to make atoms from or to discharge it's the most difficult to do that okay so that's the idea here yes sir theek hai yeah so the idea basically is that uh, for example in the electrolysis of hcl you have aqueous solution which means you have h positive you have cl negative you have h positive from water and you have oh negative right so at the cathode one of these is going to go and at the anode one of these is going to go right and they're going to discharge so in the cat ions we just have one option h positive so that's the one going to discharge in the anions we have the least reactive one which in using this revised it reactivity series it will be chloride so there you go your preferential discharge tells you that h positive is going to go it's going to form hydrogen gas and chloride is going to go it's going to form chlorine gas now we need to balance the equation so far do you understand the idea of what product is going to be made sir so jo hame unhone kaha tha ke when it's dilute it goes down but when it's concentrated you reverse it wo hum na kare so thing is that with changing concentration uh, the reduction potential or whatever electrode potential is it does change there is an equation for that nernst equation but that's way beyond o levels so we don't need to go into the nitty gritties of that the only question they are going to ever ask you is a question between which one of these two is going to discharge so all you need to figure out is that okay chloride will discharge first and hydroxide will discharge later regardless of whether it is dilute or not because they are going to carefully hand pick the cases that they're going to give you in o levels so this has to lose electrons sorry this has to gain electrons okay and this has to lose electrons and there you go it's balanced and another important thing as far as atp is concerned is that the mole ratio over here if you notice it's 1 to 1 which means you will get equal volumes of hydrogen and chlorine that is very different in the cases where hydroxide is released because the volume of oh minus and h plus that you get it's different okay get it yes sir yeah so that's the idea what's next what the question do you have sir dusra um wo karwa de sir uh what is it called sir anion and cation uh, sir anion ka mainly karwa de sir anion ka kya sir tests anion ke tests that's something that you just have to memorize it there's nothing new rata there. maarne sir rata maarna and uh, there are a few themes there that might help for example uh, you have six anions right 
So there is the sulfate, sulfite, uh, there is nitrate, there is chloride, there is bromide, iodide, and uh, there's one more. Which one is it? Hold on, let me open the syllabus. Yeah, so according to the syllabus, you have one more, which is, yeah, carbon. Okay. So here, did you join again? Yeah, okay. So here's the thing. Two of these are going to give you gases. Uh, this one gives you carbon dioxide. This one gives you ammonia. Okay. The rest of them, they're going to give you uh, precipitates. These two will give you white precipitate. This will be off white and this will be yellow. Okay. And how does that work? With halides, you give silver ion. Now, where do you get silver ion? Anything that's soluble. So I could pick silver nitrate. Okay, so with silver nitrate, I'm going to get white, off white, yellow. For these two, I'm going to get what? I'm going to add barium nitrate. Again, barium ion is required. So I use barium nitrate because that is soluble. So I get barium nitrate and that gives me white precipitate. Okay, so that's the idea. Two of them are going to give us gas. How, do, how does that happen? Carbonate will give us gas with acid. Nitrate will give us gas with sodium hydroxide aluminum foil and heat. We add all of that in and you get ammonia gas. You know the test for ammonia gas. With carbonate, you add acid. Any acid will do. Okay, just don't add carbonic acid because that has carbonate in it. So any acid, dilute acid, it gives you carbon dioxide. Nitrate, um, sodium hydroxide and aluminum gives you ammonia gas. Uh, with halogens, you need silver nitrate. With sulfate or sulfide, basically sulfur ions, you need barium. So, is tarah ke relations ko yaad rakhein. Barium aa gaya na, to uska matlab hai sulfate or sulfide hai. Silver aa gaya to matlab halogen hai. Ya halide ion hai. Thik hai? Ye simple connections aap bana sakte hain. Similarly, ek acid ke saath gas de raha hai, ek alkali ke saath gas de raha hai. Ye bhi ek simple sa relation aapke saamne aa gaya. So all of these should be clear. Now the problem comes in sulfate or sulfite we differentiate kaise karein? Like they are both giving us white pressure with barium. So what do we do? So there's a very simple uh, answer for that. You have to know that sulfite can be converted to sulfate by oxidizing agent. Okay. So I'm just going to oxidizing agent ka kya test tha? What's an oxidizing agent? What does it do? Do you remember any oxidizing agents? So potassium iodide? Simple. Potassium, potassium iodide is a reducing agent. Potassium, oh, potassium permanganate. Potassium, per potassium permanganate or potassium manganate 7. So yeah. So potassium manganate 7 is going to give you what? Uh, uh, purple to colorless. Right? And there you go. So let's recap. One is going to give us a uh, gas with acid. Which one? Which one? Carbonate. One is going to give us gas with alkali. Which one? Nitrate. Nitrate. Okay. Three are going to give us precipitate with silver ion. Halides. Two of them are going to give us precipitate with uh, barium ion. Sulfur wale dono, yani sulfate and sulfite, barium ke saath, or silver ke saath, halogen wale saare. Thik hai. Ab unme hum trends dekhte hai. Halogen is white, off-white, yellow down the group. Test same hai. Test both simple sign. You give them a uh, white precipitate, or you give them uh, silver nitrate, they give you that uh, iron, uh, that precipitate. Kya bol raho mein? <laughs> you give them silver iron, they give you the... Precipitate or uske colors up to something. Does everybody understand any questions? 
No, sir. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, so that was anions. What else? What else do you want to go over? Sir, in some experiments, it also says, okay, can you po point out something wrong with the experiment? Yes, yeah, sir. of course. Of course. Okay, sir. sir, so sir, okay, can okay, you tell I'm us some sir. general rules? Yes, sir. Okay, let me go over that in a bit. One thing that I suspect you should not study. Flame test. Did you review them? Did you study No, them? sir. So flame yeah, test was added to your syllabus just this year. Okay. So flame test in your syllabus is six. Uh, the colors are red, yellow, lilac. Then we have combination colors. So we have orange, red. We have. So is this where it says like burns green. with a dash flame? Yeah, yeah. Burns with this color or burns with this color. Yeah. Or and blue green. Okay. So we have these six colors. You just have to memorize this again, of course. So lithium ion is red, sodium ion is yellow, potassium ion is lilac. So that's group one. And then we have two, three ions with positive two charge. So calcium, barium, copper. So three aapke plus one charge wale hain, theke? or three aapke plus two charge wale hain. Ab, it's up to you how you choose to memorize it, but that's the idea. By the way, if you're preparing IG, uh, for O levels, I would still suggest, strongly recommend, in fact, that you have ATP papers from uh, what you call IGCS, ATP papers. Karein. They are going to be immense help. Uh, okay, guys, just a minute. I will have to download the password. Just give me a few minutes. Take it. Yeah, so you were saying uh, that uh, what chapters are tested first or more in ATB. So yes, it's uh, experimental techniques, uh, purification, wagera wala sara. It is uh, acid bases, salts. It is moles. It is uh, one of the energy changes or rate of reaction. And uh, Basically, they want you to draw a graph and all of that in there. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Very few questions on metals, non-metals, their colors, etc. They also come, but they don't have any marks. Sir, I saw the copper oxide. Ka aaya tha. Black solid. Haan, colors, etc. Yes, uh, did you get the fact sheet that I mentioned? I sent group. Mein bhi thi. No, sir. We aren't in the group. So join the group because that fact sheet is really, really helpful. It's gold, honestly. Say, can you join? Kare? Like, will you uh, send the link? Right? Yeah, I'll share the link in the chat here. Anyway, so let's begin. Uh, this is uh, summer 2020, uh, paper 4-2. So we'll try to go over as many questions as we can. If all the questions are like this, I would get 100 on 100. All the questions are not like this. Okay, so a student determines the concentration of aqueous potassium manganate. Now, what do you need to know about potassium manganate? What color is it? What color is it? Purple. Purple. Very so good, Satija. And uh, what is it used for? It is used as an oxidizing agent. Okay. What does that mean? That means this thing, whatever it's reacting with, should be a reducing agent. And if the reaction happens, then it goes from purple to colorless. So that's just something that you should be at the back of your mind when you're solving this question. And uh, what does this thing have to showing us? What is this thing? Hmm? What are? Is it hydrogen? No, this is not hydrogen. Acid? Acid, Can yes. So you? You're right. It might lead to reduction but not necessarily okay this is the one that's the reducing agent in this case uh this is basically acid which shows that whenever you're doing this reaction you have to do it in acidic conditions okay so we might want to add hcl a small amount of that to do this reaction okay so this is a redox reaction clearly secondly this is clearly showing that an oxidizing agent is Re reacting with the reducing agent, we will expect a color change from purple to colorless. Okay, I'll them. Diagrams of some of the pieces of operations students use is shown. Name the three pieces. So, what is name? This one is a burette. So, A is burette, B is pipette, and C is conical flask. Okay. 
यू कैन ऑल्सो कॉल इट अर्लन मायर फ्लास्क जो इसका दूसरा नाम है बट दैट्स फाइन जस्ट डोंट से जस्ट फ्लास्क बिकॉज दैट्स नॉट गुड इनफ uh you also need to know that where do we use this so this is used burette is used when you want to add a variable amount or variable volume of a liquid pipette is used when you want to add a fixed amount of liquid and conical flask is used when you are mixing liquids or mixing liquids with solids okay so that's the use of this thing ab dekhte hain student kya kar raha hai usne karna kya tha student ne ye reaction karna tha aur uska maksad kya hai to determine the concentration so he wants to know the concentration of potassium manganate with some known solution of this thing okay student records the mass of example of solid ethyl dioic acid so iska matlab hai ki ye jo cheez hai ye uske baad solid hai so uska obviously wo kya karega mass mein hi karega aur usko usne iske andar add karna hai and to figure out the concentration okay dissolve the solid in distilled water makes the solution up to 250 cm cube okay tell me what should he use when he is trying to make the solution what does it even mean to make the solution up to something uh sir adding water adding water yeah and uh, he is trying to is is he going to add 250 cm cube of water uh nay nee, sir until the entire solution is 250 which is exactly so yeah. he's but Why didn't he just do it right away? Why did he first dissolve it in distilled water, then made it up? Why couldn't he just take some amount of water and then add the solid and then mix it together? Why did he not do that? So the idea here is that you take the solid, you dissolve it to make a solution. You have a solution now. Yes, I am. uh sir is it say is just uh, sara acid goes uh, along with that with the solution we do want the whole acid yeah you're right we don't want the whole acid to be dissolved we don't want to leave anything out so basically what he'll do is he'll probably take a beaker add the solid in there then add some water enough water to mix it all together so he'll start mixing it what should he use to mix it glass rod that's what he should use to mix it okay so he mixed it now you have a solution no more solid just a solution of that acid now he's going to transfer that solution into a volumetric flask volumetric flask is this thing with a long neck and just one mark on it and this mark might be 250 cm cube so what he'll do is he'll take the beaker or beaker mein se wo iske andar usko add kar dega to maybe yahan tak fill ho gaya but then some of the solution might be left over in the beaker so he'll wash the beaker transfer the washing again so that every amount whatever even the smallest droplet was transferred to the volumetric flask to ab ye volumetric flask ho gayi hai isme ek mark hai aur wo yahan tak liquid fill ho gaya now he'll fill it back up aur wo water isme add karta hai so that it all fills up to 250 cm cube and that's what it means to make it up to 250 cm cube okay बिकॉज ऑफ द नैरो नेक ऑफ द वॉल्यूमेटिक फ्लास आप उसके अंदर ग्लास रॉड एड नहीं कर सकते इसलिए आप पहले बीकर में या कोने के फ्लास में उसे मिक्स करते हैं और फिर उसको ट्रांसफर करते हैं ओके सो अब उसके पास दो सोल्यूशन हो गए एक इथेन डायोइक एसिड का है और एक उसका ओके क्वेश्चन विल ही नो द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ दिस सोल्यूशन द वन इज जस्ट मेड द एसिडिक सोल्यूशन he can because to find the concentration what do you need you need the number of moles and you need the volume volume is 250 and number of moles kahan se aayega from the mass of the sample that he just calculated so mass se moles aayenge moles se wo 250 uske volume mein usko pata lag jayega ki uski concentration kya hai ab is solution ko he took apparatus b which is a pipette to transfer exactly 25.0 this point 0 is showing us that we have an exact 25 which means pipette use karna hoga ठीक है एंड ट्रांसफर टू एपेटिस सी व्हिच इज अ कोनिकल फ्लास्क सो ही टुक 25 ऑफ दिस सॉल्यूशन एंड एडेड टू द कोनिकल फ्लास्क नाउ ही एडेड 10 सीएम क्यूब ऑफ सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड ये उसने क्यों ऐड किया सर टू प्रोवाइड एच प्लस यस टू प्रोवाइड दिस एच प्लस दैट वी नीड फॉर द सॉल्यूशन एंड ही एडेड अ स्मॉल अमाउंट बिकॉज़ दैट्स नॉट रियली गोइंग टू अफेक्ट द कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ व्हाटएवर द अदर थिंग इज अच्छा अब देखते हैं उसके बाद ये भी एसिड है इसकी 25 है और 10 इसके हैं टोटल 35 हो गए फिल्स एपरेटस ए विद सॉल्यूशन ऑफ केमेनो4 केमेनो4 उसने उसके अंदर फिल कर दिया ब्यूरेट के अंदर ठीक है टाइट रेट्स द कलरलेस सॉल्यूशन ऑफ दिस 
with solution of KMnO4 until the end point is reached. अब इसका बड़ा simple सा case है. How would he know the end point is reached? आपके पास conical flask में you have a colorless solution and burette में आपके पास you have KMnO4 which is colorful, which is purple. ठीक है तो वो यहाँ से drops आते रहेंगे और एक टाइम आता रहेगा जैसे ड्रॉप आएगा रिएक्ट करेगा कलरलेस हो जाएगा फिर ड्रॉप आएगा रिएक्ट करेगा कलरलेस हो जाएगा अनटिल ऑल ऑफ दिस एसिड इज यूज्ड अप एंड व्हाट कलर विल द सॉल्यूशन हैव देन पर्पल होगा क्या यू आर एडिंग पर्पल केमिनो 4 इट रिएक्ट्स गोस कलरलेस यू आर एडिंग इट अगेन यू आर एडिंग इट अगेन अनटिल यू ऐड द पर्पल केमिनो 4 इट डजंट रिएक्ट स्टेज पर्पल एंड व्हेन यू सी द पर्पल कलर दैट शोस यू हैव रीच द एंड पॉइंट एंड देन ही रिपीट्स इट व्हाई इज ही रिपीटिंग इट To to get the average. Yeah, to get the the average, average. Yeah, So why is an average important? Sir, because it's possible he like he makes some errors while performing the titration. Sir, to ensure accuracy. Yes, sir. To improve the accuracy, basically. Yeah, to ensure the accuracy. Yeah, you're right. Because if he made a mistake in one case, it's possible that he might not repeat the same mistake in the second case. But if there is something wrong with his burret or if something wrong with the pipette, then. उसका वो मसला यहां से हल नहीं होगा रिपीटिंग समथिंग डज नॉट फिक्स द इशू इन योर इंस्ट्रूमेंट इट ओनली रिड्यूस द एरर इन योर टेक्निक ठीक है सो अगर आपका ब्यूरेट को कंट्रोल करने में आप थोड़े से स्लो हैं सो वो एरर प्रॉबेबली यहां से रिजॉल्व हो जाएगा अगर आपका ब्यूरेट ही खराब है और वो वैल्यू आपको ट्वेंटी फाइव की बजाय ट्वेंटी सेवन बता रहा है तो वो प्रॉब्लम यहाँ से रिजोल्व नहीं होती so that's just one thing you have to keep in mind for physics and for chemistry that repeating only affects the error made by the guy the person the whoever is doing it not the error that is faulty in the instrument khair aage chalte hain so just why sulfuric acid is added ye abhi humne baat ki theek hai so dekho aadhe se zyada sawal to while reading the instruction mein zain mein aane chahiye ki acha ye kyun kar raha hai wo ye kyun kar raha hai wo और उन्हीं के ऊपर वो आपसे पूछता है सो ही जस्ट आस्क यू व्हाई सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड एडेड टू प्रोवाइड द एच पॉजिटिव आयन कलर चेंज एट द एंड पॉइंट द एंड पॉइंट वाज व्हेन द कलरलेस सॉल्यूशन ऑफ दिस थिंग वेंट पर्पल व्हाई डिड इट गो पर्पल बिकॉज़ ऑल द ऑल ऑफ दिस कलरलेस थिंग वाज कंप्लीटली रिएक्टेड एंड नाउ यू जस्ट हैव एक्स्ट्रा केमनो4 सो ये कलरलेस टू पर्पल ये आपका कलर चेंज होगा नाउ दैट इज समथिंग दैट Might be confusing क्योंकि हमने तो हमेशा पर्पल टू कलर ऐसी बट हमने तब देखा जब वो रिएक्ट करता है वेन यूर एडिंग इट इन एक्सेस दैट बेसिकली शोज के वो रिएक्ट नहीं कर रहा है वो बस पड़ा हुआ है ठीक है अच्छा अब क्या वो पर्पल होना जरूरी है यू हैवेंट एडेड अ लॉट ऑफ इट वॉट इफ इट वॉज इन पर्पल वॉट कलर माइट इट बी सर पिंक पिंक यस बिकॉज पर्पल यूजली वो होता है जब बहुत ज्यादा होता है जब आप एक या दो ड्रॉप एड करते हो ना वो पिंक होता है ना दैट इज समथिंग दैट यू विल ओनली नो इफ यू हैव डन द एक्सपेरिमेंट इन द लैब एंड दैट इज वाई आई वुड इम्प्लोर यू के नेक्स्ट टर्म में यू हैव एक्सेस टू स्कूल लैब डू दीज एक्सपेरिमेंट्स ठीक है टाइट्रेशन को दो तीन दफा करें सॉल्ट एनालिसिस को करें गैस टेस्ट को करें ये टेस्ट आपको करने रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन करें इंथेल्पी चेंज करें ओके मूविंग ऑन initial reading is this final reading is this we know how to read these things it's a hint here that everything is to one decimal place even the zero value is to one decimal place so you should also write the values to one decimal place so we'll read it this one is 27.1 and this one is 1.8 uh, or 9 sorry 7.7 1.7 so we'll subtract it we'll get uh, 4 25 Okay. Uh, similarly, we'll subtract these, so we get twenty four point nine, twenty five point one, and zero point three. This one is zero point three. Okay. Thank you. Now we have to pick the one that is the closest. So you have to pick the one that are closest to each other. So two and four. Two and four. Uh, these two are the closest. Yes. So two and four. Take those. now we're going to ignore the other values we're going just going to pick these two so whenever you're taking the average pick the ones that are the closest so we'll pick these two we'll take the average of those you don't need to show the result uh matlab you don't need to show any steps but clearly hame pata hai ki 24.7 hai aur kyunki 6 or 8 ke beech mein number 7 hi aata hai another student repeats the experiment using the ye mole wale question karke dikhaun ya ye kar loge aap log kara de sir kara de 
अच्छा ठीक है सो so, अब हमें पता है कि यहाँ पे आ, क्या सीन है स्टूडेंट यूज वन पॉइंट जीरो एट ग्राम ऑफ द एसेट टू मेक अप टू टू फिफ्टी सीम क्यूब ओके द स्टूडेंट ऑप्टेन एन एवरेज टाइट्रेशन वॉल्यूम ऑफ दिस कैलकुलेट द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ दिस इन दिस ओके सो यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग वेन एवर यू आर टेकिंग अ सोल्यूशन फ्रॉम अ लार्जर अमाउंट टू अ स्मॉलर अमाउंट मतलब टू फिफ्टी सी एम क्यूब में से आपने ट्वेंटी फाइव सी एम क्यूब लिया सो यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इज सेम इन बोथ सो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ द फर्स्ट वन इज इक्वल टू कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ द सेकेंड वन तो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन क्या होती है नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ओवर वॉल्यूम इन द फर्स्ट वन इज इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ओवर वॉल्यूम इन द सेकेंड वन ओके अब देखते हैं इन द फर्स्ट वन द वॉल्यूम इज टू फिफ्टी इन द सेकेंड वन वॉल्यूम इज ट्वेंटी फाइव नंबर ऑफ मोल्स हमें नहीं पता सेकेंड वन में इन द फर्स्ट वन वॉट इज द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स मोल्स क्या होते हैं मैथ ओवर एम आर मैथ कितने वन पॉइंट जीरो एट एम आर कितना विल हैव टू कैलकुलेट बल्कि उसने दिया हुआ नाइनटी सर नाइनटी सो दिस इज द आइडिया ऑफ ट्रांसफर वेन एवर यू आर ट्रांसफरिंग अ स्मॉल अमाउंट फ्रॉम अ लार्ज रेजर वॉयर आपके पास टू फिफ्टी है उसमें से आपने ट्वेंटी फाइव लेना है जस्ट नो दैट द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन डजेंट चेंज मोल्स विल चेंज वॉल्यूम विल चेंज एवरीथिंग विल चेंज एक्सेप्ट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन सो सी वन इक्वल टू सी टू और आप उसको वहां पर अप्लाई करोगे आपके पास ये वैल्यू आ जाएगी ये ट्वेंटी फाइव इसे कैंसिल होगा टेन आ जाएगा और आई डोंट हैव अ कैलकुलेटर डू यू कैन यू कैलकुलेट सर इंस्टेड ऑफ जो इक्वल का साइन लगाया है इक्वेशन के लिए कैन वी जस्ट कैलकुलेट टू फिफ्टी में जितने मोल्स आए और डिवाइड बाय टेन कर दें उसको सीधा कर सकते हैं बिल्कुल कर सकते हैं बिकॉज व्हाट यू आर टेक्निकली डूइंग इज यू आर जस्ट यूजिंग द रेशियो मेथड कि टू फिफ्टी में कितने मोल्स हैं और ट्वेंटी फाइव में कितने मोल्स हैं दैट्स एग्जैक्टली द सेम थिंग है तो आप कर सकते हो ओके During the reaction, two moles of KMnO4 react with five moles of H2C2O4. So two moles react with five. ठीक है. कल के number of moles of this. इसका मैं नहीं पता और इसका मैं बताया zero point zero zero one two था. यही था ना. So ratio method लगाया हमने. So we'll get. Uh, time shift. Sir, zero point double zero four eight. Zero point double zero. Sir, triple zero I think. Four eight. मैंने अच्छा We have moles for DM cube. We want to convert it to grams for DM cube. Okay. So how do you convert mole to grams or mole to mass? Say so multiply by M R. Multiply by M R. Exactly. So that's what we'll do. We already know the M R. So zero point zero nine six times one fifty eight. Jo bhi answer aega, wo mar answer hai. ठीक है. Clear everyone. Any questions? All right, let's move on. Uh, a solution contains one cation and two different anions. Okay, the table shows the test of the solution. Does complete the table? Name any gases. Okay, to one cm cube, he added sodium hydroxide. Now, यहाँ पे उसने बोल दिया कि ये aluminium है. अब आपको एक चीज याद होनी चाहिए कि हमने याद किया था उसको बल्कि that it was cousin Zach. तो कुछ लोगों ने उसे cousin Zakir भी बोला था. कजन जैक क्या था इट्स बेसिकली टेलिंग अस व्हाट इज सोल्यूबल सो दिस इज टेलिंग मी दैट कॉपर एंड जिंक आर सोल्यूबल इन अमोनिया एंड जिंक एल्यूमिनियम एंड क्रोमियम आर सोल्यूबल इन एनिवर्ज 
ठीक है सो नाउ आई नो दैट इफ आई हैव एल्यूमिनियम इट विल बी सॉलिबल ठीक है तो क्या ये सॉलिबल है लेट्स सी ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड दे गेव अस वाई फ्रेस्ट्रेट ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम ओके एंड देन ऐड मोर एक्व सोडियम हाइड्रोसाइड एंटी इट इज एन एक्सेस बिकॉज इट्स एन यू एच एंड बिकॉज कजन जैक है तो एल्यूमिनियम इज वाइट फ्रेस्ट्रेट डिजोल्व और यू कैन जस्ट से पी पी टी डिजोल्व एंड दैट कन्फर्म्स दैट कुड बी एल्यूमिनियम और इट कुड ऑल्सो बी जिंक ओके बोथ ऑफ गिव दैम गिव अस वाइट फ्रेस्ट्रेट ओके इट्स इट्स योर वाइट कजन टू वन सेंटीमीटर डेप्थ ऑफ दिस सोल्यूशन एड अ स्मॉल वॉल्यूम ऑफ एक्स अमोनिया अब एल्यूमिनियम हो गया uh you can clearly see that in ammonia cousin hai usme aluminum nahi hai so iska matlab aluminum should be insoluble so again you'll get white precipitate and it's insoluble or ppt doesn't dissolve or ppt remains or something like that okay to one centimeter depth of this add nitric acid and warm until no further change is seen theek hai acid add kiya hai humne hi padha tha अगर एसिड ऐड किया है गैस आएगी तो वो कौन सा होगा कार्बोनेट कार्बोनेट हो सकता है यस गैस आए और वो कार्बोनेट हो जाए गैस आए और वो कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड गैस हो यानी कि द गैस व्हाट डज अ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड का टेस्ट क्या है टर्न्स लाइम वाटर मिल्की लाइम वाटर मिल्की एग्जैक्टली ठीक है एक ही ऑप्शन थी दूसरा था कि आपने ऐड किया और गैस आई है और उससे आपको वो गैस जो है वो के एम एन ओ फोर के साथ रिएक्ट कर जाए इन दैट केस दैट गैस इज सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड और सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड किस वाले से आती है सल्फाइड से आती है ठीक है सो एसिड ऐड करने से हमारे पास दो केसेस हो सकते हैं जिसमें गैसेस आए कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड आएगी लाइम वोटर मिल्की होगा दैट शोज इट्स कार्बोनेट सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड आएगी विच विल टर्न पर्पल टू कलर लेस फॉर के एम एन ओ फोर दैट सल्फाइट so the gas is sulfur dioxide and one of the anion is sulfite acha yahan pe ab dekhte hain zara usne bola tha name any gases aur maine use name nahi kiya hai maine kya kiya maine formula likh diya is that good enough now depending on the examiner they may ignore it and they give us the mark aur ho sakta hai ki wo mark aapko de hi de but i would still be safe and just say sulfur dioxide instead of writing the formula ओके टू टू द सॉल्यूशन फ्रॉम थ्री ऐड एक्व सिल्वर नाइट्रेट सिल्वर किन आइंस के लिए टेस्ट करने के लिए यूज होता था हेलाइट सर हेलाइट सो दिस इज डेफिनेटली अ हेलोजन और हेलोजन आयन व्हिच मींस व्हाइट या ऑफ व्हाइट और येलो व्हाइट फॉर क्लोराइड ऑफ व्हाइट फॉर ब्रोमाइड येलो फॉर आयोडाइड और ये येलो है सो आयोडाइड हो गया मेरे पास इजी ओके ब्लैंक पेज व्हाई डू दे गिव अस दीस ब्लैंक पेजेस बिकॉज़ यू कैन राइट ऑन देम इफ यू नीड टू or if you can use them for rough work okay but i would still suggest ki aap apna final answer of in blank pages pe nahi karna aap rough work in blank pages pe karna okay a mixture of solid contains barium sulfate and sodium chloride only barium kin ions ko test karne ke liye use hota tha sir sulfide and sulfide sulfide ya sulfate aur unke sath wo white precipitate deta tha aise बेरियम ऑलरेडी सल्फेट के साथ है तो व्हाइट फेस्ट्रेट आएगा इसका मतलब ये डिजोल्व नहीं होने लगा इट्स इनसॉलिबल ठीक है यहीं पे लिख लो इनसॉलिबल आई हैव टोल्ड यू यू हैव टू रीड बिटवीन द लाइंस यू हैव टू रीड देम एंड देन यू हैव टू रेफर टू व्हाट यू नो ऑलरेडी बिफोर यू इवन स्टार्ट टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन एंड सोडियम क्लोराइड व्हिच वी ऑलरेडी नो इज सॉलिबल ओके बेरियम सल्फेट इज इनसॉलिबल ओ अच्छा उसने बता भी दिया सोडियम क्लोराइड इज सॉल्युबल इन वाटर डिस्क्राइब हाउ टू सेपरेट द मिक्सचर इससे आसान सवाल हो सकता है ग्रेड 7 के बच्चे को भी ये दे दो ना तो वो कर लेगा तो बताएं व्हाट शुड ही डू ही हैज अ मिक्सचर ऑफ सॉलिड्स यहां पे एक बहुत कॉमन मिस्टेक है स्टूडेंट्स कहेंगे फिल्टर कर दो स्टूडेंट कहेंगे फिल्टर कर दो एग्जैक्टली पहले डिसॉल्व तो करो मिक्सचर ऑफ सॉलिड्स है सो वी विल से दैट ऐड वाटर and mix or stir or shake theek hai pehla step to ye hai 
नेक्स्ट स्टेप फिल्टर या आप लिख दो फिल्टर बेरियम सल्फेट आउट नाउ यू हैव टू रिमेंबर वन थिंग इफ यू डोंट नो द फॉर्मूला डोंट राइट द फॉर्मूला राइट द नेम गलत चीजें नहीं लिखनी ओके बेरियम सल्फेट आउट हो गया ओके अब आपके पास चाहिए क्या आपको आपको दोनों चीजें चाहिए यू नीड प्योर बेरियम सल्फेट एंड यू नीड प्योर क्रिस्टल्स ऑफ दर थिंग so barium sulfate should be the residue so every time you need to collect the residue you wash with distilled water why am i washing it so that if there is any impurity it goes on goes away theek hai and ha, then i'll dry it and dry in folds of filter paper I would suggest आप पूरा पेपर लिखो पीपीआर ना लिखो ठीक है जी वी गॉड द रेजिड्यू ना वी आर ऑन टू गेटिंग प्योर क्रिस्टल्स ऑफ सोडियम क्लोराइड वी हैव सोडियम क्लोराइड सोल्यूशन ओके ना वील जस्ट हीट इट हीट द फिल्ट्रेट अंटिल वॉट टाइम वेन शुड वी स्टॉप सो द पॉइंट ऑफ क्रिस्टलाइजेशन वेरी गुड फिल्ट्रेट टू पॉइंट ऑफ सैचुरेशन और पॉइंट ऑफ क्रिस्टलाइजेशन ठीक है and then we should ya phir under dry this uh is that correct sir mai kisi bhi likha nahi hai usse usse pure crystals ban gaye not powder sir mai kisi bhi under dry this sahi hai mark sheet mein usne dry this likha hoga koi baat nahi theek hai but you have to remember ke there is the answer that is acceptable and there is the answer that is good chemistry sir uh hamari teacher ne hame kaha tha ke hum saturation ki jagah until 1/3 of the solution is left we likh sakte hain to is not acceptable 1/3 of a solution is more like a rule of thumb that might be useful when you're learning how to do practical chemistry but it also varies from salt to salt matlab sodium chloride ke liye 1/3 might be good but for some salts it might not be kyunki for example sodium nitrate is much more soluble than sodium chloride so maybe one third per sodium nitrate pure ka pura nahi nikle i am not sure i wouldn't go by rule of thumb again every person has their own preferences okay so ho gaya ye question a student measures the temperature change during the reaction between hcl and this okay temperature change kar raha hai wo uh usne obviously kis cheez se measure kiya hoga What instrument might he have used? So thermometer. Thermometer, exactly. And uh, over here, what kind of a reaction is happening here? So neutralization. Neutralization. Very good. Neutralization is exothermic reaction. Or con con se exothermic reaction. आपने पढ़े में? Se burning a combustion. Combustion. One more. रेस्पिरेशन ओके एंडोथर्मिकोशन एंडोर्मिक इनक्रीज होना चाहिए अच्छा आगे चलते हैं 25.0 अगर होता तो उसके लिए वो क्या यूज करता पिपेट 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 या ब्यूरेट ब्यूरेट सो राइट देयर वी जस्ट स्पॉटेड एन इंप्रूवमेंट टू द मेथड दैट ही हैज भाई लिक्विड मेजर कर रहे हो गो फॉर द बेस्ट थिंग दैट यू हैव पिपेट और ब्यूरेट मोस्ट प्रिसाइज एक्यूरेट है या नहीं है Accuracy depends on the guy doing it, on the person doing it. Precision depends on the instrument. Average करने से accuracy change होती है. Precision नहीं change होती है. ठीक है? So measuring cylinder use कर रहा है. Bullet use करेगा, improve कर लेगा. To one point five mole per dm के to a glass beaker, okay. Records the temperature of any OH. Why is he doing that? What is this reaction going? To, this temperature going to? How is it going to help him? Say initial temperature. initial temperature exactly the starting point adds 4 cm cube of hcl so he added a lot of this 
and now he's just adding four cm cube. So that makes HCl the limiting reactant. And of course, the highest temperature reach. Highest temperature can reach Karabo. Say because exothermic. So mid value le leta, maximum kyun kar It basically shows that all of the limiting reactant has used up. That's what he's using it for. Maximum wale tak leke ja rahe. And how would you know that it's the maximum one? Because the value will start to fall. Yes. Sir. That's what how we know. Okay, results are in results. Ko uh, the differences in the first row are consistent. That's a good technique. So four, four, four ka farka. Good step. Agli wale mein 24 .5, 25, 28.5. increase ho raha. Kahin pe ye dekho, increase nahi ho raha. Ye constant ho gaya. Constant kyun hoga? Constantly work that the heat loss is or the heat gain is done, both are equal. So heat loss is also happening, but whatever heat loss is happening and the reactions providing the heat, both cancel out, so it's constant. After that, the temperature will be reduced. This means the maximum is going to be reached. Name the type of reaction we already know. This is a, a, a neutralization reaction. Name a piece of evidence that can improve the accuracy. We already talked about it. 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 Name the piece you required to add 4.0. One decimal place hai, butyrate ke lava kuch nahi ho sakta. Pipit kyun nahi use kar sakta wo yaan pe? Say pipit ke accuracy 20 or 25 deti hai. Exactly. Not 20. 25.0. Exact. Or 10.0. Or 50.0. Or 100.0. 20 wala mene aatak dekha nahi. So maybe aap ke school mein baut koi advanced lab hai. I don't know. Uh... Name that piece of evidence used to add 4 cm cube of this bureau. Explain why the glass beaker is not the most suitable piece of evidence for this experiment. Do you think glass beaker may go to CUNY use going to change? So because, so is it because heat? heat loss can happen. Yeah. Thin glass. Whatever. Usme se up heat measure kar rahe ho ki kitni nikal rahi hai aur aapne heat loss ka to measurement ko contri matlab usko avoid karne ka koi method hi nahi kiya bhai use a plastic cup aur agar beaker karna hi hai to usko koi lagging lagao koi usko lid lagao taaki you avoid the heat loss you reduce the heat loss okay so improvement kya hai that if he's intent on using beaker uske paas kuch aur nahi hai to wo usko uh, lagging lagaye, lid lagaye, or agar usne wo use nahi karna hai, to wo plastic ka cup laga le. Okay. Plot the values of temperature. Okay. So this is pretty straightforward. We will all plot the values. Values plot karte mein, you just have to remember that if you're plotting the values, you can either use a circle dot or you can use a cross. Those are the only two acceptable methods. So use a circle dot. So dot with a circle around it or a cross. And in both cases, they should not be bigger than four small boxes. Unse chota hona usko. Take it. These are two points that you have to remember whenever you are uh, drawing it. So we obviously we plot karenge. Hamare paas, uh, obviously lines a jingi. Un lines ko hum values de deng. Take And if there is a value that is anomalous, अब हमें यहां पे टेबल में पढ़ के तो कोई नॉर्मलस नहीं लगी है बट uh, जब हम ड्रॉ करेंगे ना तो वी विल आइडेंटिफाई सम पॉइंट्स दैट आर अनॉर्मलस सो वी विल नॉट यूज देम सो होल्ड ऑन लेट मी ओपन द पेपर समवेयर एल्स इसको प्लॉट कर ही लेते हैं ओके सो फर्स्ट वन इज 0 एंड 24.5 सो 0 एंड 24.5 that is over here. Uh, next one is four and twenty-five. Here, next one is eight and twenty-eight point five. Okay, twelve and thirty point five. Sixteen and thirty-two point five. Twenty and thirty-two point five. 24 and 31.5. Yeah, value for easy color to be. Yeah. 
28 and 30.5 and 32 and 29.5 okay so hamare paas ye lines aa gayi hain we will obviously draw them ab draw karne ke liye hame can you spot the anomalous point by the way so Set would it just be the second, the second one yes exactly the second one let's just circle it wo anomalous hoga okay now let me draw the line how will i draw the line i will actually draw it i will draw two lines ek line aise hogi wow it's perfectly fitting and i did not stop there i basically drew the line and it passed right through all of them aur maine usko aage extrapolate kar diya this idea of extending the line is called extrapolation i'll do the same thing here Uh, yeah, there I have it. I have drawn the two lines, or we obviously kisi point to meet kari, and that's my maximum point. Okay, uh, this is my maximum point, which I think is thirty three point two, if I'm not wrong, the temperature. But that's the maximum temperature. That's not the maximum temperature change, because yaha tak wo aaya thirty three point two, but wo start to yaha pe hoya tha. So the temperature change is basically this one. We'll subtract the two values to figure out the temperature change. Okay, let's see what the questions are about. Circle the anomalous point. We've done that. Draw a straight line. We've done that. Draw a straight line to best fit. We've done that. Extrapolate the line. We've done that. Use the intersection to determine the minimum volume needed to react with all of N over H. Okay, so minimum volume reacted is going to be this much. जितनी भी आती है सो यू विल यूज अ स्केल टू डू दैट सो यू यू ड्रॉ अ स्ट्रेट लाइन व्हिच गोस राइट डाउन एंड आई एम गेटिंग 17. पॉइंट आई डोंट नो 17.5 समथिंग देयर 17.5 पॉइंट फाइव आई थिंक मतलब दिस इज 17 सो आई गेस कुछ भी कर लेते हैं सेवेंटी पॉइंट फाइव भी कर लेते हैं ठीक है यूज इंटरसेक्शन टर्म इन द टेम्परेचर चेंज द हाईएस्ट पॉइंट आई हैड वो थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट टू द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट आई हैड वाज ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट फाइव आई सब ट्रैक देम व्हाट डू यू गेट Zero point eight seven. Sorry, eight point seven. Yeah. The heat change is this. So, I have given you the formula. Heat change is m cat. Okay. One cm cube of solution has a mass of one grams, which basically means that if you know the volume, you know the mass, and that shows that density is one. And that, he's doing that because. Ah, ja ke apne sabko water mein dissolve kiya and what is uh, ke case is water has a density of one point. Uh, sorry, just one. Okay, so let's just do that. Okay, so heat changes eight point seven. No, no, no. Is it? That's the change in temperature, not heat. Uh, that's the temperature change. Now I remember the specific heat question of water is four point two, but here, where can you remember that? I was not. नहीं बताया उसने उसने कुछ नहीं बताया बट एक चीज हम सोच सकते हैं लेट्स इग्नोर ऑल दैट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट यू आर मेजरिंग द हीट और द टेम्परेचर चेंज इन व्हाट इज इट द चेंज इन सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इज इट द चेंज इन एच और इज इट द चेंज इन द होल सॉल्यूशन हम्म व्हाट इज इट Hmm? So it's a whole solution. What he just said. I said that the temperature that we're measuring is it just for sodium hydroxide, just for uh, acid, or for the whole solution? And so it is the for solution. the whole solution. The whole solution, exactly. So what we'll do is we'll take the volume of sodium hydroxide that we added, which we just calculated seventeen point four five C. Sorry, it's silky. And uh, we'll take the value of 25 जो हमने 
उसकी ऐड की थी विल जस्ट एड दम दिस इज द टोटल सोल्यूशन दैट वी हैड द एक्चुअल हीट चेंज इज मच ग्रेटर देन ऑब्वियसली भाई लैगिंग ही नहीं किया उसने सो हीट लॉस इज द रीजन ओके आगे चलता सॉरी Hmm. The is shown is used for electrolysis of dilute sulfuric acid. Hmm. Interesting. Do you see that two gases are being made, and do you see that the ratio of the gases? So clearly, hydrogen gas or oxygen gas are here. Ya ulta ho gaya because it H two O ka breakdown ho raha. Okay. The electrodes are made of platinum. Give the name of each electrode. But why is he using platinum? हाइड्रोजन गैस Which means you start with hydrogen ions, and you get hydrogen gas. And to do that, they have to gain electrons. But you also have to balance it. So two hydrogens will need two electrons, and there you go. They have not asked for state symbols. Always pay attention. If they want state symbols, mention those. Sir, electron to put charge नहीं डालेंगे. नहीं charge क्या डालना है? हमें पता है electron है. आपने अगर लिखना है, तो आप देख सकते हो कि उसने e minus लिखा हुआ है. तो आप charge लिख दो. आप क्यों नहीं? Describe text used to identify the gases produced. There are six gases in your syllabus. सब का test आपने याद करना है और उसको लिखते हैं. So oxygen test is glowing splint लेके आओगे. Observation is relights. Uh, hydrogen का test है burning splint लेके आओगे. Burning and glowing का फर्क याद रखना. So hydrogen is you bring the burning splint. It gives you a pop sound. Okay. A student uses the apparatus shown. Any question in the previous question? None. Okay. Moving on. Ashwin uses the apparatus shown to investigate the rate of reaction. Rate of reaction आ गया है. अब देखना जरा. You have a solid, so we could look at the solid to see कि कब dissolve हुआ और कब solution बिल्कुल clear हो गया. That is one way we could measure the rate of reaction. We have get we are getting a gas produced, so we can measure the gas volume over time to figure out how the rate is happening. जो कि वो कर रहा है. And if it a gas is coming out, that also means that the mass is reduced. so we can measure the change in mass to figure out the rate of reaction obviously time ke sath measure karke so we have three ways of measuring rate of reaction just for this reaction a solid is dissolving so we'll wait until the solution is cleared which shows all the solid is reacted a gas is being made so we can measure the volume against time and the gas is being released so we can measure the change in mass compared to time so three method hai hamare paas identify the piece of apparatus labeled x gas syringe No brainer. So it starts the reaction by tipping the sample tube. कौन सी sample tube? ये sample tube है अच्छा ठीक है. Ah, so that copper carbonate and acid come into contact. Obviously, अगर वो react नहीं करेंगे तो वो contact में नहीं आएंगे तो collision नहीं होगी. Collision नहीं होगी. React नहीं करेंगे. Explain why this method is used instead of adding the copper carbonate to the acid and then replacing the bung. Tell me. You should think of the answer while you are reading it. You should your alarm should sound in your mind. कि ये कर क्या रहा है? Replacing the bung after adding भाई gas produce होगी इतनी जल्दी आप वापस इस चीज को add नहीं कर सकेंगे. Gas loss हो जाएगा. Right? So this is to avoid any uh, leakage or any loss. So basically, while you are replacing the bung, the gas will escape. Exactly. So we want to avoid that. so that's the reason we want to do this okay ye usne hame graph de diya hai student plots the graph of the result isne hame koi labels nahi diye hain to hame pata hai ki we are measuring the volume so volume is measured in uh, what unit centimeter cube volume ka measure centimeter cube hai so we'll say volume of gas or volume of carbon dioxide don't don't just write vol examiner ko nahi pata vol kya वोल्ट समझता रहे वो समझेगा नहीं लेकिन 
and always write the unit like that or if you don't like that you can write the unit in parentheses so aap is tarah bhi likh sakte ho usko but these are the only two acceptable ways similarly on this side we have time don't write t just write the whole thing time seconds acha wo niche likhna hai yeah likhte na list three things that should see sees happening in the flask three things abhi humne baat ki solid khatam ho raha hai bubbles aa rahe hain uske alawa kya ho raha hai Oh, copper sulfate is being made. Copper sulfate is blue. So copper carbonate solid disappears. Copper sulfate is made. You will not see copper sulfate because it's aqueous, but you will see the color going blue because of copper ions, and you will see bubbles of gas. So these are the three things you see. Use the graph. By the way, that also shows that we can use a colorimeter to measure the rate of reaction because a blue color coming from a colorless thing. हम उसकी इंटेंसिटी को देख के देख सकते हैं कि रिएक्शन कितना हो गया यूज द ग्राफ टू एक्सप्लेन वट हैपन टू द रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन ड्यूरिंग द रिएक्शन द रेट फ्रॉम द ग्राफ रेट क्या होता है रेट इज द ग्रेडियंट लुक ओवर हेयर द टेंजेंट विल बी लाइक दिस बट ओवर हेयर द टेंजेंट विल बी लाइक दिस ओवर हेयर द टेंजेंट इज हॉरिजोंटल सो दिस इज क्लियरली शोइंग द टेंजेंट इज रिड्यूसिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ द ग्रेडियंट द ग्रेडियंट ऑफ द टेंजेंट इज going down which means the rate is going down so rate decreases but we have to also explain it so we'll talk about the factors that are being affecting this so first of all to hame pata hai ki rate is going down because the gradient is decreasing ek to hum ye bata sakte hain another reason we could say is because the reactants are being used up but examiner ko lagega ki humne yaad kiya hua answer हम उसको बताएंगे कि इस रिएक्टेंट में कौन से वाला यूज अप हो रहा है तो वी कैन से दैट द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ द एसिड इज गोइंग डाउन और द सॉलिड इज यू नहीं सॉलिड हम नहीं बोल सकते बिकॉज वी डोंट नो के सॉलिड कितना है हो सकता है सॉलिड इन एक्सेस हो तो आई वुड स्टिल सजेस्ट कि आप बस उसको रीजन दे दो ग्रेडियंट इज गोइंग डाउन एंड यप वी आर डन विद द पेपर और थैंक यू सो मच 